Hey, I'm Cesar from Chatwith. Today we want to explain this article, this uh, post we have in our blog that is, is somehow popular. People is searching for, you know, this element because, you know, you may see it on your analytics and, you know, this referral domain is WhatsApp. This referral URL belongs to WhatsApp. If you put this in your browser, you go straight to WhatsApp. So what happens when someone shares your website, social media, YouTube channel, I don't know, anything like that on WhatsApp, you will get this uh, referral in your Google Analytics. So how you see referrals and URLs in Google Analytics? Uh, this is my, this is uh, our website. This is the referral for LWLCO. And how you see it, how you find this, you, you need to go to traffic acquisition. Then you, you add in traffic source, session source. Okay, that's what you need to add to check the domains. And then in the search bar, you need to search, you need to search for referral. That's it. With that, you're going to get all the referrals with the domains and you need to see where your WhatsApp referral is. And that's it. And you will see how many links are coming from WhatsApp. So, you know, that's uh, it's easy and, you know, it's simple. But I think it's, it's interesting because, you know, that can help you understand how many users, you know, how many visitors are sharing your website on WhatsApp. Is this, you know, a good traffic source? Obviously, yes, you know, sharing on WhatsApp, I think is, you know, more and more popular, obviously much better than, you know, email or anything like that. So if you are, you know, concerned about, you know, traffic engagement, leads, all that, checking how many leads are coming from WhatsApp, I think it's cool. And now, you know, this is the referral URL you need to search for. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.